One of the things about GLOW is that you're capturing this period in the 80s, and I would think the locations are crucial because you can't just shoot anywhere because right. the 80s was such a specific time visually. I don't know how you guys are able to do it. You do it very well, but you always make it look when you're walking around in locations like it's the 80s. Yeah, it's tricky. Well, th and this season all takes place in Vegas, and what's left of the 80s in Vegas is gone. There's nothing there. So they had to find a hotel yeah, and they found one. I don't know where locations people find these places. They found a hotel out by the Anaheim airport. Did you even know there was an airport in Anaheim? There, there's a <laughs> hotel not, there no. that they kind of reconfigured into, you know, they, they made it into a Vegas hotel, put a marquee up, created the lobby there. But it's not a nice place, Conan. The hotel is not nice. No. How I, many people are staying at the classy hotel by the Anaheim airport? <laughs> Not many. Not many. And you get there, and it's one of those hotels where they tell you, like, we have some permanent residents. Never a good sign. <laughs> if a hotel has people that won't leave, not great. Not a great indicator. And there was actually this moment where, it wasn't a moment, it was an email, because we were shooting out there for a few days, and they said that we were free to stay there. And this is mostly women in this cast. And there was this caveat, I think is the correct usage of this word, that said, there is a guy that kind of walks around the halls and lives at the hotel. He's a bit weird. He calls himself Hollywood, and he's obsessed with movie sets. So that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> there was no attempt by the hotel or their staff to detain this man or ask him to no, leave. No, they said there's generally people uh, at the hotel, security. Right. But this is, a, you know, Allison Bree's going to stay there with Hollywood creeping around the halls? <laughs> and there was one scene where I'm shooting with Bree in a hot tub, you know, in the, in the, in the uh, courtyard of the hotel. And out of nowhere, there's, someone just starts yelling from a, from a room just start screaming. It was inaudible. And we were like, that must be Hollywood. That must, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Hollywood's moment. That's classic Hollywood, yeah, Classic man. Hollywood. Classic creepy stalker guy who's, uh, he didn't make the cut, by the way. You won't hear him in that scene. Right. He still got paid. Uh, <laughs> we have a clip here, uh, and I believe this is with you and Allison Brie, and I think you're shooting in the hotel that you're talking about. Uh, no. This no one's, a... no one's going to know you could have just said yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take a look. Whoa. Holy shit. Really? It's okay. Sheila got it for me at the Lost and Found. And you ruined it. I mean, I don't need to know that. Now I'm thinking about how it got there. You look nice, too. Hmm. Thank you. Wanna have a drink before we go up? Fine. Well, just come in and watch me have a drink then. Come on. Got you an opening night card. You did? No. But I thought about it for a few seconds. Would have been good. <laughs> Action. Yeah. You like it. I do. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I, very I, good at it. You're a very good actor. I, I, I'm excited to be doing it, and yeah. it's fun to work with people like her. She's genius, you know. She's and, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, I, I think I, I need. I'm not like, I'm doing pretty well with the acting, but I, I'd like to take some more risks. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I don't think I'm going to put on 30 pounds or learn an accent, but it, it'd be maybe just some more, maybe some different fashion choices. Right, like an eye patch or something. Yeah, eye patch. Great. <laughs>